I'm gonna walk you through how to get pictures from your camera to your computer. So the first thing you're gonna do is make sure there's a battery in there and turn on your camera, which you do by going to the on setting here. Then you will select menu, and then there's a bunch of menu options at the top. You see there's five of them. The middle one is wireless settings. So click on the middle one, it should be purple. Click on it again and you'll see a list of options. We want the top one, which is Wi-Fi, excuse me, Bluetooth connection. So click on that and you see how it kind of turned purple. Now, if you have connected to the computer that you're trying to connect to before, it will be in this list, okay? So it'll say lab one and then your computer number. So mine is digital media lab one teacher. So I'm gonna select there. And at this point, I know that I am gonna look for wireless number 623 Canon. So I'm gonna come up to my computer. In the top, I'm gonna to go here to the wireless Wi-Fi icon, turn on my Wi-Fi, and it gets annoying because it starts sending you pop-ups to try to connect to things. But if you've connected to this camera before, it should be one of the top options. So for 623 Canon A, and you'll see it's blue, so it's connected. So just give it a second, it'll pop up with EOS utility. Um, you're gonna see this screen, click download images, select and download, and then you will see whatever pictures are on your camera. Now at this point, you can do a couple things. Um, one, you need to make sure that you have a folder on your desktop for the pictures to go into. So if you do not, you can right click and do new folder here, but I have one already for yearbook photos. So I'm going to come down here to preferences. And when I click on preferences, I get this pop-up and I wanna make sure that the file path is going to desktop yearbook photos folder. If it is not going where you want, you can click browse and browse to where you want your pictures to go to. So desktop, yearbook photos. Okay. Now that that is done, I can select which pictures I want to download or delete from my camera. So in this case, I'm going to select them all, which I can do. You can just check them here or you can drag your cursor over a section of photos and go to, oops, select multiple images and it will select all those or one of these tiny little settings in the corner, you can click here and do select all or just select the new ones that have been there. Um, so those are really helpful. So once they're selected, then there are some options down at the bottom for either downloading them or deleting them. So in this case, I want to download first and when I click download, it'll confirm that's where I want them to go to and I say yes and it takes a second. So it'll go through four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now they are all downloaded. Then if I want, I can verify they're downloaded by double clicking into the folder and just making sure that they are there. And that is not them. And there's some options here at the top. You can view this a bunch of different ways. So I actually really like to view it in the column view. So therefore I can click here and then see the pictures off to the right. So it's probably gonna be the last one then. Nope. Do, do, do. I have a bunch of them that I've downloaded today, so that's why there's so many. Okay, maybe not. Well, it probably loaded it into one of these other folders, but I'm going to confirm first. And once I confirm that it's in there, then I can come down and press this little trash can here, which will delete it. And you wanna do that so that you keep your SD card clean and you know what you've already downloaded and what you haven't. So you don't download the same thing over and over and over again. And when you're done downloading, one, make sure your camera stays on the entire time you're downloading with the SD card in there. If it is doing other things, you can click and do other things on your computer while it's downloading. And when you finish, just simply click this red dot to close it. And it will send you a little preview there, but it will close too. Thank you.